Hello to the UK, I'm Chris Columbus. And I'm Ned Vizzini. We're the authors of House of Secrets, the first book in an all new fantasy adventure series. We hope you love reading it as much as we love writing it. I credit the Harry Potter books with getting kids back into the love of reading. When I was in London, for instance, directing Harry Potter, I would get on the tube or you'd be walking down the street and most kids or their parents were walking around with, a, with the Harry Potter book. I'm not saying we're creating Harry Potter, but when you're creating a book that kids read with their parents, a book that they can talk about together, that gets them excited about reading again, that if we can pull that off, that would be great. House of Secrets is the story of three kids, the walkers, who move into this creepy old house in San Francisco that they find out used to be owned by an even creepier writer, Denver Kristoff. And shortly after the kids move in, they anger the wrong person and they find themselves banished into the world of Kristoff's books. So all of the crazy stories that this author wrote a long time ago come to life and the kids have to fight through them to find their way home. Because Denver Kristoff is, is a writer in a similar vein to somebody like, maybe like Ray Bradbury, um, the world is never ending. An underwater world, we can have ghosts, we can have, if we wanted to have vampires, too many vampires out there right now, but if we wanted vampires, we could do vampires. So there's no genre that's off limits to us. In the middle of a battle with medieval warriors, you could have a World War I plane show up because both things were written by Denver Kristoff. Well, when I was writing the screenplay initially, I realized that the screenplay was too expensive to be turned into a movie. Um, that's when Ned and I got together and decided to write this novel. One of the things I remember from our first meeting, Chris, yeah. was, was when we sat down and I was like, well, are there things that you wanted to do in film that you haven't been able to do because they're too expensive? And you said, yes. And I, just, I was like, let's do them. Let's do them in this book. I would look out at the bay in San Francisco. So I'd see the Golden Gate Bridge and I'd see the bay and I'd see all the surfers and I thought, what, it would really be cool if there was a house floating in the middle of that bay. I didn't know any reason. I thought, it would be cool if there was a pirate ship attacking that house. And that was the initial image that stuck in my head for House of Secrets. Yeah, put some barrels under the house. It was designed to float in the event of an earthquake. Uh, this is, it's problem. Sometimes writing is really just problem solving. When you can show kids not just what a good story is, but also what good storytelling is, they can continue to take that love forth and create stories of their own. And that's no secret. That's House of Secrets.